Hey, good morning. My name is Chad Larrabee and uh, my son Mailbox Mitch uh, managed to do about 50 boxes in the neighborhood from uh, his time with the stay at home orders with COVID-19 and, uh, and I helped him out. And the uh, thing is, is we've got about 600 homes in the neighborhood and there's a lot of folks that still need a little mailbox work. So I thought in addition to the work that he did and I did a little bit with him, um, I'd show you how to do it. And one of the keys is uh, getting the right tools. And so I want to show you this tool. This is a, um, it's just nothing but more than a paint scraper. And you buy regular razor blades for these if you're trying to get something off of a window. But if, let me see if I can grab it here, you're trying to get uh, mailbox numbers off, you want to get something called a plastic razor blade. It's so simple, uh, but it doesn't take the paint off. And when you have one of these, I promise you, uh, life will get so much easier. So I'm gonna put this plastic razor blade in and um, get that ready. And also try to use a glove just to save a little bit of hand work there and uh, show you how it works. Now, if you grab this, grab this box, you wanna make sure it's nice and stable. And then you grab the, get under that number and you can just kind of see how easy it is to, to pull off. Now I'm having to apply some force, but overall, you can kind of see how the number just came off almost all together. Sometimes you'll get a little residue, so I go back over it. You see it right there. And then um, and you can see the plastic razor blade doesn't do any damage to the paint itself. Um, there is a special type of paint that the Architectural Control Committee requires, and I can give you a little bit more information about that later. Uh, but this is, uh, this is kind of the the work that's involved. Um, also, you'll see that this uh, neighbor bought a new mailbox, and so we already already replaced the mailbox. I'll show you how to do mailboxes in another video because um, there is a little trick to doing the mailboxes, by the way. So, uh, so this is the magic. Um, there's also a very specific font that's required by the ACC, and that font can be ordered. Uh, from signs etc that's the person or the company that has been named by the neighborhood to be the supplier for these but you could also get this font created at fast signs but let me uh, encourage you to stay with the font because part of the ACC guidelines are just our own mutual commitment to uh, staying with what we agreed to part of the CCNRs are the covenants, codes, and restrictions of the neighborhood, and this is all to protect us for, uh, you know, neighborhood values, and we all agreed to it. So, uh, when we when we bought a house in this neighborhood, so let me encourage you to follow those, and uh, and to improve your mailbox because if you do, it will help improve the overall look and feel of the neighborhood. And a real estate agent coming through here wouldn't say. Oh, this is a neighborhood in decline. They can't even keep up with their mailboxes. So you want to make sure that you uh, take care of your mailbox. These letters, by the way, are fifth. Or I'm sorry, seven-year vinyl letters. Seven-year reflective vinyl is the material, and they uh, and so they last seven years is the plan. So <laughs> so if you got a 15-year-old house and your numbers are still there, there's a reason why they're curling up on the edge and they need to be uh, taken off and removed. So that just took a few minutes. And uh, next I'm going to do this, I'm going to apply some of this material, whether you get uh, goo, uh, goof off or gooby gone, uh, goo gone, it's different products, but sometimes there's a little bit of residue adhesive on here. You have to get the vinyl off first, those vinyl letters off first, and then you can spray this on. And then I usually just leave it on here for about 10 minutes. This is an acrylic paint, so it won't take the paint off, but if you have repainted your tube, especially with like a spray paint or an enamel, it will come off with this stuff. So, uh, but, but if you still have the original paint, go for it. Another thing I like to do to try to bring back the luster of the original paint is uh, actually just spray a little WD-40 and wipe it down before applying the numbers. Um, but for now, a little goof off and you're good to go.